You recall in the uh, last lesson, we uh, created a second form, which we invoked by pressing a button on the first form. And we initially created this form by going to the top of the Solution Explorer, clicking on Add, and then selecting New Item. And there's a number of possible new items you could select, but what we wanted was a Windows form. And we created that and called it Query Results. But since that's already created, this is the button that gets clicked on the parent form that creates the child form and it basically has a reference to the form object that gets instantiated as an object called QR and then it calls the uh, show method of the QR in order to actually bring up the form and you notice when it says equals new it's actually calling what's called the constructor of the the object so in order to test this, what we need to do is create a couple uh, controls, both on the parent form and the child form. And we'll create a text box on the parent form, call it uh, txt parent sql. Since when we get further on in this project, we'll actually be communicating sql between the query edit tab page and the query results form and then we want to create a label on the uh, query results form uh, and essentially the proof is when we communicate from the text box on the uh, the parent form to the label on the child form so we'll call this label uh, LBL child receive SQL and we'll get rid of the text altogether since we want to just have the text appear from the communication between the parent and the child so you'll notice that there wasn't any code in the uh, query results. We had a query results design but no code. So I essentially pressed F7 to bring up the code page. And on the code page I made a number of changes. I added a frm main p underscore parent parameter which is a reference to the main form. And then I added a private member that's also frm main and then I associated the uh, local uh, object that's the reference to the frm main to the parameter that gets passed to the constructor and now I need to change the constructor call in the uh, frm main to include a keyword called this and this essentially says this is a reference to the current form uh, in this context it could be other things and we also need to add a public uh, function of get parent sql which essentially just returns the content of the text box uh, and converts it to a string so the return type on the function is string and essentially passing the this keyword which is a reference to the the parent form to the uh, the uh, constructor of the uh, uh, child form creates the link and then within a button or within the load uh, function of the uh, uh, child frm query form we want to make an assignment statement that essentially calls the get parent SQL function referenced by our our variable that's connected to the FRM main object and assign that to the uh, label 
So now in order to test it, I just put a random string in the text box on the form, hit run query, and sure enough the label gets filled in based on the text box of that form. But we actually want an ongoing link. We don't want it to just happen at load time. So I'm creating a button within the form and do the over enthusiasm of the IDE I actually ended up creating two buttons so I deleted the first one and we go over and call this button uh, in good Hungarian notation BTN get SQL so whenever this button is pushed on a child form we want it to go over and retrieve the content of the text box on the parent form and we give it the name get current SQL so the user knows what it does and then essentially all we want to do is copy the line we put into the the load method on the child form which uh, assigns the uh, text property of the label on the child form to the return value of the function uh, get parent SQL which is referenced by our linked uh, member object to FRM main so right now it says Captain Kirk essentially the same test we did before I'm moving the uh, forms around a bit so you can see both of them and I changed the value in the uh, text box to Mr. Spock and then I press the button and boom the label changed to Mr. Spock having called the function that returns the value of the text box in the parent and our linked object our member object M underscore usually stands for member object well I hope you enjoyed this uh, lesson and I'll see you next lesson and remember to focus and learn a lot